More maps? No, they're just blank. Oh. It's a drinking horn. Is it full of ale? Or mead, maybe? Right now, it's just full of dust. Oh. A little hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's hand-painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. He's an imp. What does he do? Well, if you tell too many lies, he appears at the end of your bed in the middle of the night. Oh. It's a barometer, but it's broken. I've never seen a barometer that wasn't broken. A pencil drawing of a mountain on a moonlit night. Mood. You get a good view of the lake from here. It's Earth. If Earth was made of paper and gave off a gentle pink light. Buffer? Fish? Yes. It's also a lamp, for some reason. Nice. A real treasure chest. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too. Do I win? Not bad. What was in the box? More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. It's a magic lamp. Can we summon the genie? If we get really stuck, sure. A lot of redundant light sources in here. A hammock. It's kind of worn out. I would politely describe it as lived in. The floor is covered in wood shavings. An old wooden mask. Probably cursed. The entire room is made of wood. Oh, it's not just made of wood. I think it's the actual hull of a ship. Shelf junk. That's a massive conch shell. Do you think there's a little crab living inside? I hope so. Mm -hmm. 
sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, generally speaking, you know, that sort of thing. So, Felix, what exactly do you, uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Explorer slash treasure hunter. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I have certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? Uh, you listen here. <laughs> I may be between ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, the fellow family has certain loyalties. And with the Flora the way she is... Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. Why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here? Ah, right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, very unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Hear that, Grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... It's... Well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... Uh, uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? Uh, what qualifies as unusual? What have you got? It was dusk. A feeling lingered in the air. Malevolent? Perhaps uncertain <laughs> as life itself. Abridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly. So I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So, I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So, I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Fitz, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. Dearest Flora, a remarkable woman. <laughs> Been married over 20 years now. You two still get on? Of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. 
It's true she has an independent streak, who's uh, had it her whole life. She's the youngest of three. Always something of a lone wolf, you know? Just the way she is. Lone wolf is putting it lightly. She doesn't seem to want to talk to anyone. She just likes time to herself, uh, away from the company of other humans. Other humans? Other, well, yes, uh, other people, you know. You're the one currently basking in his presence. <laughs> you tell me. Let's move on. Uncommonly skilled as an artist, but Freya was so much more than her talent. She helped me get started with my own painting, you know. It taught me what she knew about wood carving, too. Tremendous patience. She was ever so good with dear Flora. Freya and Flora were close? Oh, yes, especially after, uh, especially recently. How are you related to Freya? Somewhat distantly, as it happens. Uh, my father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, that makes her a fellow. Let's just say uh, there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. Uh, there's a family tree in the Grand Hall. Uh, you should take a look at it. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around three years old. She came to live here shortly afterwards. Nobody left her a thing? I'm afraid not. She had no formal claim over anything at Tangle Tower. My daughter Fiona, our little burgeoning genius. <laughs> You've met her? We did. She's going by Fifi these days. So I've heard. I asked her some weeks ago, what's wrong with your real name? She told me, <laughs> get this, she wanted a name with an even number of syllables. <laughs> she makes up the strangest things when she's under pressure. What makes you think she made that up? I happen to know the real reason she prefers Fifi over Fiona. Oh yeah? It's what Freya called her. Charming, isn't it? Yes. Uh, built by the Remington family originally. Dear Flora's father and his uh, <clears throat> associates. But now it's owned by you? By the Fellow family? The Fellows and the Pointers have both come to claim a certain degree of ownership. And who named it Tangle Tower? Uh, Flora chose the name. <laughs> what does it mean? I think it was her intention that it uh, mean nothing at all. Um, something of a fresh start. From what? This really isn't for me to say, but she had some kind of disagreement with her siblings. <laughs> After they moved away, Flora changed the name of the house. I think perhaps she hoped it would make them feel unwelcome. Yes, less likely to come back. That's kind of extreme. <laughs> yes, it is rather, isn't it? <laughs> What's this? It's my case file. It's how I know what I'm supposed to be doing. You mean to say you're bound by the limits of what's written in this little document? Uh, sounds dreadful. I found it comforting. Well, that looks like it might belong to Poppy. I'm as confused as you are. Looks like Freya's paints. Do you know why the pots are cracked down one side? No, that's very odd. They're normally in excellent condition. You seem pretty sure about that. It would have been a beautiful painting. It's rather a shame Freya was unable to finish it. Nothing about it seems strange to you. Well, all these uh, modern paintings are slightly strange, aren't they? The emotion of the piece taking over from, say, uh, anatomical accuracy. <laughs> what about the knife in Flora's hand? A knife? That's what you see? You don't? Well, uh, as I was saying, uh, Freya's artistic approach uh, distorts certain shapes. Uh, Hard to say exactly what we're looking at. 
Does Florin normally keep something in here? She must do, but I admit, I never managed to work out what. Why not just ask her? I feel like if somebody keeps something locked away in a ceramic egg, it's because they don't want to be asked about it. <laughs> Rules to live by. Flora's quite fond of that old thing. <laughs> it's in poor shape, though. Do you know what happened to it? Can't say I do. But that looks like it might belong to Poppy. Where did you find that? It was in the library. Really? How odd. Why would someone lock up a book like that? We think it's a secret diary. Aha! <laughs> the teenagers are funny, aren't they? Freya was quite the talent. She had a way of capturing the spirits of her subjects. Not in an evil way, in a good way. That's one of Freya's paintings, is it not? It's impressive, uh, but a little miserable for my tastes. My daughter Fiona and her best friend, they grow up so fast. Do you know why it's ripped like that? Ah, yes. I didn't even notice. No idea. I've been carving for a couple of years now. <laughs> I was hopeless when I started, but it didn't take me long to master it, as, as you can see. Do you paint them yourself, too? I do indeed. Uh, Freya kindly taught me the basics. Nowadays, I can make just about anything I can imagine. Of course, this particular model is a self-portrait based on hard fact. Hard fact, huh? So... You own a sword, Felix? Uh, of course. I own a great many. Uh, but my weapons are stored well away from Tangle Tower. Uh, uh, safety first and uh, all that. Uh, ah, you found it. What, uh, what do you think, huh? I had to rush the final touches a little bit. It turned out all right, though. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course, surrounded by all her favorite people. There's something about Felix's painting supplies. Something suspicious. Let's ask him about it. So, about this paint we found in your room? Nothing suspicious about it. I used it to, to paint, obviously. Totally normal thing to do. We never said it was suspicious. Come on then, out with it. What exactly are you accusing me of? It's not your paint bot. Did you take it from somewhere else? What on earth? It's definitely mine. I even have proof. Look, the lid matches the ones on all my other paint pots. End of discussion. That's not the end of the discussion. We need a clue to compare with Felix's red paint. Something to prove who it actually belongs to. Let's take a closer look at this. Freya's red paint pot was stolen and replaced with Felix's red paint pot, but the lids were swapped to hide it. That red paint is from Freya's supplies, not yours. Swapping the lids doesn't hide what you did. Why are you bothering me about paint anyway? And none of this is connected to your murder.
This red paint pot was somehow filled with blood before Freya used it to paint Flora. Oh, that, uh, that's definitely something. Right, fine. Here's the story. I was busy working on uh, a project when I suddenly realized I had run out of red paint. There was a certain amount of uh, the time pressure. So I politely asked Freya if I could borrow hers. Just for a little while, you know, perfectly reasonable request. But she said no. I tried to explain why I needed it, but she didn't seem to care. So, uh, well, I took Freya's red paint pot and swapped it with my own empty one. You went into her room? Not my proudest moment. Uh, but it's just paint. I didn't touch anything else. And the paint pot you left behind was definitely empty? Uh, quite. I have absolutely no idea how it got blood in it, if that's what you're asking. Why were you in such a hurry to get a hold of red paint anyway? I was trying to finish this in time for Flora's birthday. I needed red to paint the final details. Could you not have just used a different color? Out of the question. It had to be red and white. If you managed to finish it, why haven't you given it to Flora yet? Nah, uh, well, I decided against it in the end. After what happened, seemed a bit uh, insensitive. Fellow, age 53, profession, none. Likes, collecting objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them personal value. Dislikes, the inescapable realities of human existence. Notes, Felix is my father and legal guardian. And, uh, is he a good dad? I have no point of comparison, but I would say no. No? Why not? You asked me a binary question. Do not get upset that I provided one of the two possible answers. What makes him a bad father, Fifi? He has trouble expressing his emotions. And something of a willful detachment from reality. Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. He is quite correct. Do you know who was reading this book? It belongs to my mother. And she left it in the library? No. My mother has not been in the library for some time. Hmm. A book. My book. And what's in it? Pages. There is a drawing of me, a drawing of Detective Hawkshaw, and a drawing of po a drawing of Poppy and Fitz. I believe Freya was attempting to communicate something through this painting. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. All I see is a blood-red mountain with angry storm clouds brewing above it. As such, I cannot ascertain any meaning from it whatsoever. This photograph is my favorite photograph. So, why'd you rip it in half? That was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was ripped off. It was only a third. A wooden carving of my father, made by my father. Although, now that I look at it, I do not understand how he was able to paint the red parts without any red paint. It is a model of Freya, made by my father. A model of Flora, you mean? And a man with a beard and a little red and white creature. Why would my father make a model of Freya? There's 
something about the image of Flora in the painting. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand... Yeah, it's creepy. But we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room. So, what's going on? It's not a knife. We need a clue to compare with the painting. Something to explain what that knife shape actually is. Let's take a closer look at this. The painted knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything to suggest that the ink dip bird is red and white too? This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather to remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet, and it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. Alright, so she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah, I think she does. Normally. This is where Flora usually keeps her feather. But we opened it. It's empty. Mm-hmm. Completely empty. Flora? She's pointing at something in the corner of the room. It's just a pile of books. They're not... Wait, there's something tucked inside this one. I like these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see them? Have you seen this book before? Do you know who it belongs to? I really thought she was going to say something there. This is a photo of Fifi, isn't it? Your daughter? What do you think of your husband's hobby? Do you have any hobbies? You haven't seen this yet, have you? It's a little model of you. Who are the other people next to you? We met Felix, your husband. He's one of our suspects, and he seems pretty suspicious if you ask me. So, if you want to stick up for him, 
Now's your chance. Nice try. We spoke to your daughter, Fifi. She's some kind of super intelligent scientist. You must be proud of her. <laughs> 